I'm Dave Milton and today we're going to be looking at flanges. These are the most common flanges we stock and the size are as follows. This is the DN16 which is also known as the Mini. This is a 34mm OD flange. Next we have the DN40 which is 70mm OD flange. Then we have the DN63, which is a 114mm OD flange. Then we have the DN100, which is a 152mm OD flange. Then we have the DN160, which is a 203mm OD flange. And then we have the DN200, which is 254mm OD flange. Uh, just a word of warning, when you get above the 253 flange, uh, be careful because some flanges look the same but they take different gaskets so just be aware of that. We offer three material types for these flanges. The most common is a 304L. 316LN 2D which is a bi-forged and 316LN 3D which is a tri-forged. The advantage of the 316LN 2D is the material is harder and has a lower magnetic permeability than the 304. The 2D biforge goes through an extra process to remove the stringers within the metal which could cause porosity. The 3D or triforged, which is an EFR material, goes through a third forging process to minimise this even further. The LM material would normally be used by customers of surface analysis or MBE applications. I will now explain how the VAC gem part codes work. We have on the table four versions of the flange. In this case it's the 70mm OD flange size. We have the board, the blank, the rotatable blank and the rotatable board. Our part codes are prefixed with CF so I will go through the following on the table to explain how this works. So the first one we have is a CF 70 which refers to the 70 millimeter OD. The next one we have is a CFR 70 which means it's rotatable. The next one we have is a CFR 70-41. The 41 refers to the bore size. The last one we have on the table is a CF 70-41. So there is a bit more to the part code. For instance, if it's tapped, and you're looking at this flange here, it would be a CFR for rotatable, 70 for the OD, T for tapped, dash 41 for the bore. If you were using a 2D version, which is the LN version, then you would add LN at the end of the prefix. So if you had a 2D tapped this one here would be a CFR for rotatable 70 for the OD T for tapped dash 41 for the bore dash LN for 2D material. When bolting the flanges together with a copper gasket it is important to make sure the surfaces are very clean and the knife edge is in good condition. The bolt should either be silver plated or use a thread lubricant for ease of tightening. It is important that you tighten the bolts up evenly as shown in the diagram. Tighten the bolts diagonally as shown until the flanges are face to face. We have found that using torque wrenches can sometimes cause problems because people will over tighten on one bolt and they will not pull down evenly. Thanks for watching and see you soon.